Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Draper, Training and Showroom Manager for Hike Vision North UK. What I'm going to show you today is the uh, latest additions to our Turbo HD analog solution. In particular, what we have here is our new Turbo HD Color View POC solutions. So what we're going to show you through today is we've got our uh, turret camera, our mini bullet, our larger bullet version. So if we take a look at the actual um, turret, first of all, this is a 5 megapixel camera and again it's a colour view camera. So what is a colour view camera? Well a colour view camera simply allows us to provide 24-7 uh, colourful images even in a zero light environment and we'll talk a little bit about how that does it now. So this one we're going to show you first of all is our DS2CE72HFTE uh, turret camera. So we'll just take a quick look in the box and see what you actually get with one of these. So first of all you get your drill template should you wish to uh, use that to help you line up where you put your screws and to drill the hole in for the centre. A little quick start guide in there for you to read over at your own leisure. And then you have your standard pack of screws which you can use to actually bolt the camera up. And then finally aside, we have the actual camera itself. So again, this is the turret camera, the Colorview POC camera. Uh, again, it's a 5 megapixel, 3.6mm uh, uh, lens on this camera. Now the way Colorview works is it has a different aperture to a standard camera. So standard apertures on most cameras are a 2.0 aperture. The Colorview cameras, and again it's the same for this one and all the others in our range, uh, use an f1.0 super aperture. So an f1.0 super aperture uh, allows the camera to capture four times more light than what a standard camera would actually do. In addition to that, it's got an advanced sensor inside as well, and then it also has a soft warm light on the front of the camera as well. So it can emit actual white light onto the scene, uh, therefore guaranteeing us that full colorful images. A color, view, a color view camera does not actually have an IR illuminator, so it doesn't have the infrared light, so the, the light that's portrayed on there to give you those black and white images that you'd normally get on on a conventional camera. Again, it has a soft, warm light out on here. Um, it's not a floodlight, it doesn't act like a security light like it would do for in your back gardens, which illuminate the entire scene. Um, the light doesn't portray that much light onto there in, in that sense. Again, it just portrays enough light onto the scene, allowing the lens and sensor to see what's in the scene, not necessarily what the naked eye would actually uh, see. So again, this is our standard uh, turret camera. Again, new addition to the uh, POC range. So what we think we'll do now, uh, again, because we're not really portraying uh, what colour view actually can do. I mean, I'm in an indoor artificial environment. I've got studio lights turned on at the minute as well. Um, so again, it, it could be a, a false image. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to switch off all the lights in this room now. I'm going to turn off all the uh, studio lights and we'll take a look at the differences of what this camera can see in comparison to what you're seeing right now. So you should see a difference on this monitor in conjunction to what you're seeing in the rest of the scene right here. So if I just go and turn all these lights off and we'll just see what sort of a difference this makes. Okay, so I'm going to sit back in my area where I was a moment ago. Uh, again, you're probably struggling to see me right now on there, on the actual um, on the normal camera that we've got set up right here. However, on the color view camera, and again, you'll see there's no light actually switched on on here because it's not shining any light onto the scene anywhere. But again, the color view camera is giving us this full colorful image, even without the white light actually having to be turned on in a very dimly lit environment. Uh, again, so it hasn't even had to trigger the white light yet. Um, if the light level dropped even further, then yes, the white, light, the white light would come on to put light onto the scene. But again, as we're seeing here right now, we're getting a full colourful image in a dim lit environment, whereas a conventional camera, which is what obviously we're, we're, we're filming this on right now, um, again, cannot give us that, that, that light in the scene and we've got a very dark scene on there at the moment. Okay, if we just get them lights back on again now. Uh, again, if you want any further details on these ones, uh, you can read up on the data sheets, they're on our website. Uh, the website will be in the description below. Uh, alternatively, speak to your uh, retrospective uh, distributor. Uh, again, they'll provide you a lot more information uh, about the products and obviously the prices involved. Thank you.